Alright, hey guys, um, this is Eric from Professional DJ Solutions. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to connect your Serato Scratch Live right here. Serato Scratch Live. And this is uh, kind of an old uh, product, this one, because this is the SL1, I believe. It's the first uh, Scratch Live box they made. They don't make them anymore. Now they have the SL2 that replaced this. But I'm going to show you how to hook up this product. Okay, so first you're going to, on the back side of this, you have the inputs. If you can see that, it's going to be upside down for you, but it says inputs right here. You have input one right here and two right here. And you have a microphone input there. And you also have your power, uh, which you don't have to use that. You can just power it by USB, but I usually use the power just in case USB goes out or something. But anyways, power and USB right there. That's the back side. And we're going to hook that up real quick. Okay, so first we're going to hook up the, the one and two inputs are going to be either your CD uh, turntables or your regular record player turntables. So, and this is going to go with number one is going to be your left deck, and number two is going to be your right deck. So, we take the um, RCA output from your left deck, which will be deck one on here, and you connect it to your um, CDJ or whatever first, and then you take it and you will put it in the corresponding RCA jacks would be left deck is going to be one so that's that and then you take the output from your right deck which will be deck two on the back of this I gotta get I got all this through here gotta get out in the car okay so this is your output from your right deck which is deck two Put it in red for right, white for left, or light for left, however you want to do it. But there's the inputs for that. And then you will have a USB cable. And your USB cable goes right here. So your USB your two inputs from your uh, CD players or your turntables and then I also do I plug in I had to buy a, a battery or not battery a plug for this for the power I'm not going to plug it in just because most people don't use it but you can also use that so that's the back side so we got the back side set up so now let's work on the front side alright on the front you're going to have a um, mic through you don't have to worry about that unless you're going to be using a microphone through it there's also a mic gain on there which i don't ever use that but these are what we're going to look at here we have outputs you have output one and output two you're going to have a uh, through output for line one which is your left deck and what you're going to do with that we're going to hook that up um, the throughput, which is going to be whatever's coming out of your CD player or your turntable, you're making that so it'll actually come through. You just have to switch it to the corresponding channel or line, whatever you want to call it. So, in this case, your through is going to go, which is line one, which is your left deck. It's going to go down here into your phono line whatever you want to call it and if you're running a CD player you gotta make sure you switch that to a line level instead of a phono level so that is through for one which is your left deck and then you have the line for output one which is still the left deck you're gonna plug that in there and then on your um, mixer you're gonna plug that into the CD Um, line there 
and then you do the same thing for channel 2 output. You're going to do it through, and that's going to go to your phono slash line. And like I said, you know, if you have a switch on your mixer, you'll want to switch that to, um, if you're using a regular record player, to phono. If you're using a CD player, you're going to change that to line or CD if it, I don't know what all of them have anymore. But then we have the line output on 2, which is your right deck. You're going to plug that in there. And then you're going to take the end of it, and you're going to plug that into the CD2. Okay, so that's plugging that part in. we got that all plugged in, and then you're going to take that USB, this USB cable that came out here, plugs right into the back of your laptop or computer. So that is how you set up uh, your Scratch, uh, Serato Scratch Live. Uh, SL1 box to your CDJs, your um, turntables, your mixer, and your laptop. Hope that helps someone. Um, please subscribe and like. Peace.